Oh, portfolios, how much money and time I've spent on getting my portfolio printed and reprinted and reprinted for it to just sit on my shelf and look pretty because most of the work, as soon as I printed, is outdated. An online portfolio is the exact opposite of that. It's flexible, it's up to date, and you can customize it and you're not limited to showing your three to four strongest projects like a PDF portfolio. And it's searchable. If you're living in the 21st century, an online portfolio by far is the best way to show your work as an architect. Also, did you know that 70% of your employers Google you before setting up an interview? If the first link is a direct link to your website, you can control what they see. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Dami and I'm a licensed architect in beautiful Vancouver, BC. On this channel, we talk about architecture and design and also some tools and strategies that can help us have more meaningful and fulfilling careers in architecture. This video is a continuation from my last video where I walked through the portfolio building process. Um, I talked about what to include and what not to include and how to think about building it. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out before diving into this one. The PDF portfolio is great, but it can be limiting in many different ways. So today we're just going to go over how you can take the images you've selected and put it online. I'll be using Wix, who is kindly sponsoring this video. Um, but I have to say, I have tried a lot of different website builders in my life. Um, I started my first website when I was like 16 years old and Wix by far is the most intuitive and straightforward to use. I personally, I really like it. Also, I just want to mention that this is a part of a series I'm doing on the whole job application process, which is a very, very common question that I get. And so in this series, I'm going to talk about how to build your portfolio, um, how to write your resume and your cover letter. Um, how to put yourself online and the benefits of having an online presence. And I'll also be talking about some interview tips and um, how you can talk about your work and your experience. So today I'm going to be taking you through step by step on how to create a Wix website using the images that you've selected. All right, so let's get right into it. So I already started building my website and started playing around with one of the layouts, but I'm just going to create a new one just so that you guys can see. So create a new site. And there is an option to do the portfolio and CV. Um, and you can let the Wix ADI create a website for you or uh, which is basically um, you answer a bunch of questions and they make a website for you based on those answers. Um, or you can create your own website with the editor. And um, I tried this one. I didn't like this one as much. Um, I didn't really like what they created for me. So I opted for this one. And there's like so many great templates to choose from. And um, the customization process is like so straightforward that I think um, I imagine that you guys are all quite picky about the way things look. So I would highly recommend um, customizing your own website based on the templates. Um, so for me, I wanted to use a template where like something like this is really nice because you have your cover page as soon as you enter the site. So um, yeah, you can look at the demos of the templates here um, and you can click through the project. Or there's options where you go into the site and you have information about you and a photo. That's also nice and personal. But what I wanted was something more like this, where you can go into your link and right away you see 
the graphics of your project. So yeah, something like this is quite nice actually. The one that I ended up selecting is this one. So let's go ahead and edit this site and I'll show you how that works. Okay, so you have your main page and I, I'm assuming you'll have your work page, you'll have your info page, and this could be like your blog or if you have um, any social media channels, you can link it here. Um, so I'll probably change that to blog, done. But this is the page where we'll be spending the majority of our time. The way it works is this is just a list of images. Go to manage media and you'll see all the images that are on this page. And each image is linked to another page that you will populate. Um, so we'll just go ahead and populate the pages first. So you go into this column and you go under work and those are all the pages that you see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and basically like replace these images with my portfolio images. So I'm going to I'll delete these and add my own media. And if you want to keep these images organized, because once you upload the media, it's all going to get populated in this folder. So you can actually um, create a new folder. And just like you would on your computer, you just create a folder for your project. So other website building platforms. Move to Anthropocene folder. Perfect. So now we can keep it nice and organized. Um, okay, so add to page. And like, that's literally it. That's literally all I have to do. And it's populated all of my images. And if I want to reorder them, just go to manage media. And um, okay, it's gonna be like this. this. Yeah. So that's an option if you want to include all the images all at the same time. But let's say you want to um, have it so that this image is actually uh, the main image and you want this to be a lot bigger than any of the other images. Um, you just go here, add and add image. My uploads, I've already uploaded these photos so you can go in here and um, so you want this to be the main. That's gonna be like your money shot, maybe. So you put that here, you just drag this down and bring it here. Yeah, the images will um, snap in place, so Let's say you want to have it left justified or you want to have it centered 
it'll just snap it in place. You see that? And um, I've saved all of my text for the images uh, here. And I would suggest maybe doing that to sort of streamline the process. Just select all the text for your projects in a document so that you can easily come in and just plop in, um, plop in the information. I typically add um, just the project information, what studio or what year I made that project in. And so this text is a text template. It's very similar to how you would use InDesign. So if you know InDesign, this is gonna be like a piece of cake for you. Um, so this is in the style of paragraph two. And having these paragraph styles is great so that you can keep a consistent font throughout all of your pages. So um, let's say I want to actually not use Avenir Lights, but use Barlow Medium, right? So if you just change it in here, it's only gonna change it within this page. You're not gonna change the parameter of paragraph two. So if you want this Barlow medium to be applied on all of the pages throughout the website, you have to not change it in here, but change the parameter of paragraph two. So you go here, go to edit theme and paragraph two, and you change it in here, Barlow extra light, apply, and it'll apply to this page and all of the pages where you use this text as paragraph two. Um, <clears throat> and let's say you used a different font, different unique font for this particular page. You click into it and, okay. And it, it'll tell you, like, it'll tell you you're using paragraph two but what that little star means is that you've modified the um, like the base parameter of paragraph two. Okay. I hope I didn't really like belabor that point too much. <laughs> okay. Um. And the other great thing about Wix is that you can add the captions directly on the pages. So you go here, add text. Um, And typically what I've done um, with other website builders is I would um, basically like export the images with the captions and the text because I was never able to get the layout to a point where the pictures and the captions were like arranged in the way that I want. Um, but because all of this, like basically what you see is what you get. Like you just move things around and you can change the font and the size of the font. And that's basically what's gonna show up. So I really like that.
you can add pretty much anything in here. Do that. You can add your social media icons here. That looks a little uh, spammy, but uh, you can do that. You can go in and get rid of all of these. And um, you know what? Let's say I want to add my YouTube icon on here, right? I'm gonna add this to the gallery. And I'm gonna create a link to that icon. Okay. And let's preview this. So click on this. It's going to lead me My directly. My family was free when I was... God. <laughs> yeah, it's going to lead me directly to that site. So that's really great. And you can basically do that with any of the images. So let's say I want to create a link to this image. Then I can just put in the URL here and it'll just lead me directly to that page and let's say I want to change the background of just this page to black um, you can do that by going here change background and um, color change the black. obviously if you do this you're gonna have to go in and um, change the font colors and everything to white so that you can see that There's also an option to display your Instagram feed. So you just add the widget here. And okay, I don't want to show this on this page. I think I probably want to show it on the, maybe the info page. So I'll go to Social and oh no, that's not it. Go to add apps and no. Instagram feed. Add again. And there it is. There's your Instagram feed. That does mean that I have to shift all of this down. Oh, I freaking love it. You can just drag and drop. So here you can connect this to your Instagram. Uh, da -da -da -da, allow. There we go. There's my Instagram feed. <laughs> Amazing. Let's preview this. Okay. So I'm just gonna go to my other site that I've already sort of added a couple of um, portfolio items on. Okay, so I've already added three projects on the site and um, now okay, I can do that. What I'm doing now is I'm just populating this uh, all of these pages with the um, names of my project so that I can just go in and plop in the images and the text. Um, ok, 
Okay, there we go. So I have the list of my projects and now I just have to go in and populate them. Okay, so you can see that I've already uploaded some of the images. Um, but I have not saved them into folders, so create a new folder, new here, I don't remember which year I did this in, honestly. I think it was 2016. And you'll also have instances where, like, let's say you brought all of these images in um, and you're just trying to set some sort of a hierarchy. Maybe you're, um, playing around with the layout. Maybe you want some images to read more importantly. So you're doing that and just moving things around. Um, and then you decide, uh, actually, I actually kind of want them to be all the same size. So you click through this and you say, um, make everything the same width and it'll automatically do that for you. You can also um, evenly distribute. So there's equal spacing between all of the images. And you can do that uh, vertically as well. So let's say you had um, You have three different images. And you wanted them to be spaced equal distance apart. Then you just go here. Oops, whoopsies. You just go here and do this. It'll move. But for now, I just want them all to be the same. Oh, you can also align everything to the middle. You can align everything to the left. You can justify everything to the right. Um, you can move all the images to the bottom. Okay, yeah, you can also group these elements which means that you move one of them and moves all of them together. So I really like that. Let's give them equal, equal spacing. And make it all the same width, perfect. Okay, and so you just save it. So once you've populated all of these images, 
you go to your main work page and I have uh, I've already sort of done this, but you click on this and you do manage media, which is basically going to control all the images that show up in this front page. So you go in and you add thumbnails of the projects that you want to show. Um, and I've just um, created a folder for all the projects that I want to show so that I can easily just go into the folders and pull out the images that I want. And um, I actually already did this when I was building my PDF portfolio, so it's easy to just move it into the website. Um, typically, um, what you want to do is you want to reduce the size of these images so that they load faster on your website. So try to keep it to like a maximum of 500 megabytes um, uh, without like losing the quality of the images. Once you have the thumbnail uploaded, you can change the title. And um, And for long images like this, you just want to go in and put a focus here so that if you have a square thumbnail, it's going to only crop out the two sides and still show the middle. Once you have that image in, you want to just link it to that page that you created. So da -da 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 -da, border crossing done. CHA. Done. So now you have this list of um, thumbnails on your front page. And if you want, you can go to layout and just play around with how you want that to be shown. So uh, right now I have this grid but maybe I want something that's a little bit less regular. Mm. Yeah, this collage is kind of interesting because I don't really have consistency in the thumbnails themselves. Like I have renders, I have physical models, I have um, photographs of the finished work. So I think collage might be good. So you go to the layout and if you want to change around how that looks, you go to, um, you go to um, customize layout and you can change the thumbnail size so it can be a lot smaller. You can change the spacing of the images as well. Um, collage density. Move around how that looks. So this is what it looks like when you hover over the image with your mouse. So that's what it looks like without the hover. That's what it looks like with the hover. So you can also change how that looks. Um, so you can change the font of the title as well. Um, right now I'm using heading four. Remember I told you, um, if you want to change the text globally, you change it within the headings and the paragraphs. And if you want to change it, just, uh, the instance, then you go and, um, change the font.
So I'm doing this, but if I see that, uh, I actually didn't set up any fonts in the paragraph or the heading styles that I wanna use here. You can just go in here and change the font independently. So this isn't gonna make any changes to the presets that I, I've already set up for the paragraphs and the headings. It's gonna um, only change it for the fonts, for the title fonts on this page. And here I don't want to show a store. Probably I'll have my blog and info. Um, that will be my personal info. So. That does kind of doesn't look like me. <laughs> so I'll put in my image here. There's also a huge selection of images that you can use from Wix. Um, but if you are an architect, I'm assuming that you would want to put in your own images, but And you can also select your images from Instagram. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I like that. And here you can put in your um, CV and your resume which I will be covering in my next video. And for the blog, you can start a blog. Yes, blog independently, get started. And let's see. Blog pages, create a post. I haven't actually published the site yet, but on the blog post, you can definitely um, modify the text and you can add your own images. Um, Ah, okay, never mind. I was wrong. I should not have created, I should not have turned this into a blog. Because once you create the blog, it automatically gets added into the, um, the menu. So I can just delete this. Um, info blog. And let's see what it looks like. That's like a pretty nice website for literally like 10 minutes of work. It also gives me a view of what the page will look like in mobile view. You can customize how the header looks so you can do uh, scroll with the page or you can make the header disappear, which is, yeah, I kind of like that. Or it can fade in or out. I'm gonna make it disappear. Nice and minimal. Um, and here you can position like your phone number, your email, or your Facebook. Yeah, I like that. And back to the top button. 
Do I want that? Nah. I don't think I want that. And check out what else we can do for the mobile editor. So you can actually very nicely customize what it looks like on mobile. So if I wanted to, oh, okay. So if I wanted to, I can change the layout just for the mobile version as well. So I've set it up on a masonry view on uh, the website view, but on the mobile, I can change it to a grid view. And yeah, you can change the ratio of the images. show per row spacing white space is always good there we go save your changes okay go back to the site See what this looks like. So that's what's going to look like on the phone. So that's basically it guys. Uh, you can build a fully functioning website within like 20 minutes. Um, as long as you have your projects and your images and your text already planned out. I would highly, highly, highly recommend having a website or some sort of an online platform that hosts all of your work. Um, I think you should just get into the mindset and habit of like showing your work to the world. Um, it's a little bit of extra work, of course, but I think it really pays off dividends in the long run, um, especially if you're applying for jobs. I would also highly recommend using Wix. Um, I would actually never recommend something that I didn't love using myself. And um, like I said, I've used so many different website builders in my life, and this is by far the most intuitive and the least frustrating. And it's just great for people who want to have a high level of visual customization and don't want to spend a lot of time on it. So if you're interested, follow my link in the description and you can get access to the free version. Um, and actually with the free version, you can basically get a fully functioning website that can host all of your projects. So I hope you guys found this helpful and uh, this should be a fun and exciting process. So uh, good luck and have fun. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in the next video. Bye.